Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Michael, a.k.a. Rickshaw, and you are Nerding Out with Rickshaw. <laughs> Raised by TV edition. And you're also Nerding Out with... It's me, the producer, Toby Von Doom. What's up? I'm Will Swan from Dance Gavin Dance. Yeah, and you're he, we're all here nerding out on some uh, old school stuff. If you've never seen uh, our segment called Raised by TV, it's just movies or, or music videos or TV shows that we all grew up on, and it inspired us to be who we are today. So we're, today we're watching a music video. Will, can you tell us which video you picked and why? I picked Weezer, Buddy Holly, because the Blue Album was such a pinnacle album for me. Uh, it was like all I listened to for two years. Um, that and Pinkerton, I was just a giant Weezer fan. Um, and I was really young, getting into music, starting to be exposed to music videos and um, MTV. And I thought that Buddy Hall, uh, listening to Weezer's music, you know, it's kind of emotional and. Um, when I saw the Buddy Holly video for the first time, it's so fun, you know, and I was just like, whoa, the, this whole video is just a, a big joke, like a very well done, uh, <laughs> yeah. like Spike Jones shot joke, but, um, still it's, uh, not what I expected at all. Cause I kind of thought that music videos were supposed to be more of a serious thing or cool looking thing. Yeah. Um, and it, it, it is cool, but it's fun. And uh, I think that it instilled in me still to this day that um, no matter what you're doing musically, you can always have fun with it and um, turn it into something a little more lighthearted, even if it starts out as something serious. Um, and the, the song is... Uh, it, it's not like a crazy serious song, but I just didn't expect that kind of levity um, when I saw the video. And it's still one of my favorite videos of all time. Um, just the way that they filmed it and then mixed it with Happy Days. And it's still done so well, um, even as old as it is, uh, with the technology that they had. Um, and, well, back then, of course, they just put a lot more money and talent into music videos and directing them like you'd have film directors directing music videos like i think even fincher david fincher started in, in music videos as well like uh yeah the the amount of talent they had back then was just insane um so i it it, it instilled in me the sense of having fun with your music and um just how high production um you can go in in music videos and uh and i think it's they just did a great job yeah i remember uh loving this video but the first couple of times i saw it i didn't realize what i was watching because whenever i was younger i would i'd always bounce between uh nickelodeon and mtv and once we once it was a certain time they would play nick at night and so there was times where Happy Days actually would play. And so there was times where I was like, what what channel is it on? Am I watching Nick at <laughs> Night right now? You know, and then I would realize, no, it's I'm watching MTV, but it's just like a spoof video. And I was like, oh shit. It took it literally took me like two two watches to be like, oh, this is a video. <laughs> so Hey, I I'm felt... in this I'm in the same boat as you because I, I, I watched a lot of happy days when I was younger and mm. I was like, I don't understand. Like this is why is this old video <laughs> playing? Like I was just dumb to it because <laughs> yeah. I was much younger at the time. So uh yeah. It it really I mean they did a great job on this video, so it's it's kinda hard to tell. Especially like you said, if you're flipping back and forth, you're like, wait. Wasn't I just on Nickelodeon or uh, Nick at Night or whatever yeah. it was at the time? Yeah, right. But yeah, I think that they've always had sick videos. I think, you know, like more in the modern era, sure, you know, it's kind of gotten different. But they 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 had a hot streak of like coming out with interesting, fun, you know, like satire like videos, uh, you know, for like their first three albums or something, too. Like we even got like a Muppets video with the uh, gone fishing oh, for Remember that? Gone, yeah go fishing uh. yeah and we had an animal playing the drums 
Yeah, that was sick. Yeah. Uh, Pinkerton, I can't really remember any of the videos for Pinkerton. Um, yeah, I don't think. Uh, yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember. I think they were all off uh, the other, like, it was like Say It Ain't So video. Right, yeah. Um, yeah. There was. Sweater Song. Yeah. Coming on. Buddy Holly. Yeah. And then Pinkerton. Yeah, yeah I, I can't yeah. remember anything. I, I think that record was so personal and so oddly received that um it sent the uh, rivers into like kind of uh anxiety panic right. removing himself from the spotlight type thing oh, yeah um even though i fucking love pinkerton i still think that's an amazing record too the right. first two are records they put out are flawless in my opinion and then green album was still had had some uh, really good songs that i like a lot too did did you or do you still listen to weezer or did you kind of fall off because i kind of fell off with my weezer love uh mm -hmm. with the the red album or or hurley i can't remember which one it was hurley <sighs> is well, i i fell off with beverly hills and kind of like yeah that, that's that's you know, when like, i fell off too is mm -hmm. beverly i think that was the red album but i'm not sure yeah like green album came out and i was like okay there's some really good songs but as a whole the record isn't solid like the first two no. but you know yeah. how could you expect that and then i think it was the next one where i was like okay i don't know that they have what they had once and yeah. i stopped kind of paying attention they did this tour where they played um blue album in its entirety the first day and then pinkerton in its entirety the second day and then Damn. like b-sides nice. um and i went to both days and after that i was like that was the ultimate weezer experience yeah, like I bet. I bet I could never see them again, and I'll be cool because I was like everything I could have ever wanted from Weezer. Curve. Damn, I've never seen them live. Me either. So, yeah. Oh man. Well, yeah. I mean, I I don't know what their sets are like now. Yeah. It's when bands put out a bunch of records that you don't follow, and they like play a lot of new stuff. It, you know, it kind of it becomes a deterrent for me to want to go to their shows. Yep. Right. Um, so th I'm pretty much at that point with Weezer where it's like, I just don't know any of the most of their stuff now. So like, I'm sure they, they play crowd pleasers too, but, um, yeah, so hard for I, me I, to want to go see a band where I like their old era mm -hmm. and not uh, the new era at all. I still, uh, Island in the sun is still one of my karaoke songs to this day. Love that so, song. Yeah. Yeah. Oh hell yeah, yeah! I mean, I I know how to play that on guitar. <laughs> nice, hell yeah! <laughs> but yeah, should we should we check out this video? Yeah, let's do it. Happy Days is filmed before a live audience. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, tonight live from Arnold's Drive-In and Milwaukee Fried Chicken Stand. You wanted to see it's like, it. It's so easily like I thought I was watching Nick at Night. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, it's incredible. Yeah. It's so seamless. Oh, <laughs> Please try the fish. <laughs> <laughs> such a good song too yeah it's that song's never gonna get old i mean they look straight from that era too whoever came up with this idea just had the perfect show for this yeah like they had to have such a, I don't know, I, a big budget, I guess, because like there's no, oh, yeah. there's no signs of like green screen or anything. It's just, no, yeah, they threw money at music videos back in the day for yeah. sure. Yeah, this was done so well. I wonder if they had other ideas too, and this was the one that won. They were like, how about you guys are playing at an old uh, episode of Soul Train? <laughs> 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 and no one's yeah. mimicked this idea either. 
No, yeah, that's true. I haven't really seen anything since like this. Maybe maybe Dance Gavin Dance plays on Soul Train? <laughs> maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah some old show. That would be sick. We play in the corner of the living room at Sanford and so. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Incredible. I was thinking Alf for some reason. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> Alf. <laughs> Oh, I for- that, would, that would be so good. I forgot about yeah. the to be continued thing. That's I know, so right? good. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, on. I love that when a show goes bad, it's named after Bonds is jumping the shark. What's that? Oh, uh, when a show starts being shitty after a while. Um, in TV, they call it jumping the shark. Okay. Because as uh, Fonz got older, it, you know, it just started being less cool to see him yeah. hanging out with a bunch of high school girls. And then <laughs> he does an episode where he jumps over a shark he, on, on, on his motorcycle. TV. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, that was when it's like, okay, guys. <laughs> this is just yeah. good. The this shark. is too stupid. I want to see kids in the pit hardcore dance like Fonz right there. <laughs> that should be a move, for right? sure. It should sure. be. Yeah. I don't see why not. I think uh, John Travolta does that in Saturday Night Fever, too. Yeah. <laughs> Good work, guys. I mean, you were really great. Thanks, Al. Sensational. Hey, anyone try the fish tonight? That's not so good, Al. <laughs> not so good, Al. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Such not, a good, such a good video. Such a good video. They're not even gonna tear down their gear. <laughs> they just left it there. <laughs> just left it there. Nope, nope. Classic though. Classic video. Does it still hold up? Oh God, yeah, for sure. It's still oh, one of the best sure. videos ever made, in my opinion. For sure. Um. <laughs> Totally. And uh, still one of the best songs ever made. So, I mean, it's it's going to be hard to dethrone that from greatest videos of all time for me. It really is, like, such a great idea to do, like, a song or, like, a video on the set of a show. You know, like, I know that this one was, like, green screened in, you know, for, like, for obviously for reasons of trying to keep the vibe of the old school show. But, like, yeah. I've always thought it would be a good idea. Like, one... One thing I always thought, like at the end of Iwabo's career, I was like, how how easy could it be to try and get on the set of Wipe? Was it called Wipeout? The where you had to do, go through the obstacles courses. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, yeah I've I was more of that than I probably should have been. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, how cool would it be to just ha- send us all through the obstacle courses and then just cut it all together and then have us playing? You know, like on on like one of their little things like how you just want so awesome you just wanted to do the courses let's be honest well yeah like any video where like shit's just like smacking us in the face <laughs> we're like falling yeah into you're the up water. there on the drum or someone's up there on the drum set and then just gets knocked completely <laughs> off <laughs> yeah. and then yeah. they gotta fish the drum set up and pull it out yeah. you know just <laughs> yeah. climb up with it it would be incredible yeah. Dude, that would be so sick. See, my my vote is for the next uh, Dance Gavin Dance uh, video to be a ripoff of Scooby Doo, where it's just all animated. So you, you guys don't even have to do any work; you just have to get it all animated, and you're playing on the Scooby Doo show. <laughs> that would be Court. sweet. I I had an idea where we would do a video where we're in church, and instead of Christ on the cross, it was the robot with human hair on the cross. Oh, oh that's I think incredible. It was a little, I think it was a little too controversial. So right. we decided not to go with it. Yeah. I love um, that but idea. I'd, I'd still love to do that. Yeah. <laughs> that would be dope. It'd be the church of DGD. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I, I just love, I honestly love the just sitting around and talking about that kind of video. Like, especially if you're a, a band that does fun videos, it's like the possibilities are endless at that point, you know, to just go wild with some, some shit. So. Oh yeah, yeah. As long as you find the right director, 
Um, I mean, I, I'm pretty much down for anything. Definitely. Well, well I've yeah. got I've got to ask real quick before we get out of here. What what's right. what's your favorite uh, dance Gavin dance video that you've you've been you've you've created so far? So far. Uh, I, so far, I'd probably say inspire the liars. Um, I like the black and white. I, I just think that's cool. Um, and I, I I like that it we kind of wanted it to have kind of like a Quentin Tarantino ish vibe. Okay. Um, and, and uh, I, our director, I think, kept that in mind a little bit, and uh, it's kind of weird. Um, uh, I, I'll, I also like that it goes between live action and animation. Um, that was always something that I wanted to do in a video where it can like kind of go back and forth with the story, showing the characters in real life and then showing them in animated form. Um, that was cool to finally be able to do, um, especially to have our normal animator, uh, John Howe, be a part of it was awesome too. So that's that's probably my favorite just because the aesthetic for the video and the incorporation of the animation elements were both things that I always kind of wanted in a video from us. Cool. I, I really like the one with the, the – so I'm bad at – obviously, I think that lots of us from our era are bad at names of songs, but it's like the – Oh and yeah, it, yeah, betrayed and, by the game. Yeah, and it has like the green slime, and you're like playing at like a. It looks like a set for like a candy store or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah they have that the one's, chef that and one's all really this cool. weird goo. Yeah, <laughs> that one's one of my favorites. But you know, <laughs> seeing seeing John dressed up like a mouse is always fun too. <laughs> that was pretty insane. I mean, the amount of prosthetic work he had to go undergo yeah. to get that mouse was, it was like a uh, movie set stuff, you know? Yeah. I mean, he's the perfect guy for it. So. <laughs> well, yeah. And then once he got the makeup on, he started cracking all these jokes and they, he was killing. It's like it, the mouse makeup turned him into like a stand-up comedian all of a sudden. He's just like cracking us up on set. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. Well, it's been super fun. Thanks for, you know, thanks for the interview. Uh, you know, if you're watching this, you haven't seen the interview with Will yet. It's it's going to be up. If if it's not already up, it's, you know, it's going to be up soon. But I'm I'm guessing this, if you're seeing this one, this one's probably going to be up last. All the rest of the stuff Will was on is probably already up by this point. But thank you so much. It's been super fun. Uh, if you want to give your final plug. Yeah, check out my band DGD, my band Royal Coda, my record label Blue Swan Records. Um it's all online anywhere that you look up music stuff. Hell yeah. Cool. I'm sh I'm sure most of the people watching already know that, but yeah. Go go listen to Dance Gavin. Hey, if uh if you like old video games, go check out my podcast, Secret Levels Podcast. Uh we cover one game per episode. We go over the history, the story, of the gameplay, some fun facts. It's a good time, make lots of dick jokes, uh, and we let you know if the game's still worth playing. Good times. Go find it on all of the major podcasting platforms and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Toby Von Doom. And guys, you know, we watched uh, the Buddy Holly video, super creative. If you guys have any comments on videos you thought were super creative when you were growing up that we didn't like bring up, then go to the comments and leave them there. We'll we'll hit you back and respond to that shit. Uh, because, you know, we, I grew up on music videos. I was super sad whenever MTV finally turned into reality TV. But music videos were my life as a teenager so yeah we gotta we gotta keep that shit alive so but yeah before i give my plug also if you need a new pair of headphones go down to the description you know when you know winnie wants a new pair of headphones she's, she's going crazy about it <laughs> but <laughs> go to the description click the link You'll have several options for in-ears and over-the-ear Sennheiser headphones. If you want to pick up one of those pair, type in the discount code one zero nerding out, and you will get ten percent off those headphones. And thanks for watching Nerding Out. 
But yeah, if you also have questions uh, or comments you want to, to go to us personally, hit us up at nerdingoutwithrickshaw at gmail.com. And we will see you later, nerds.